stamping friends I'm Karina with Karina's creations.com I want to show you how to do this fun watercolor slash rainbow effect using shimmery white cardstock so I'll just show you quickly how to do this so the first thing I did was take a piece of shimmery white cardstock it's three and three quarters of an inch uh, by five inches and then Stampin' Up! sells these really cute Stampin' Spritzers I just filled mine up with water and then I'm just going to give it a little spritz, wet the whole thing so that the water, you can see it's starting to pool a little bit. Then I took an aqua painter and filled it with water as well with the aqua painter. You unscrew the top chamber and you can fill it with water. And then you fill it back up. And then I took five colors of reinker and I just put them in a little tray and I'm using real red and pumpkin pie, old olive, Bermuda Bay and Wisteria Wonder. So all I'm doing is just picking up the real red first and I'm just going to touch it to the bottom my cardstock and then if I need some more water all I do is just grab my spritzer again and give it a little spritz. It's got to be fairly wet because I want the colors to bleed a little bit. Then after that's done I'm just going to dip it in some water just to change the color. Then I'm going to pick up a bit of orange. You can see how the color bleeds. Get just a little more red. Put the red down here. Okay and then I'll clean that again with some water and now I'm going to pick up my old olive. Ah there it's bleeding a bit more. Mind you I don't want to make a mess, a muddy mess. So that's looking not too bad. And then I'm going to pick up some Bermuda Bay. And the best way to buy the Stampin' Up! Reinkers is in a package of 10 because then you get the really cute little box that they come in. It's great for storage. Okay, and then the last color I'm going to do is Wisteria Wonder. There, isn't that fun? and I'm just going to let these colors bleed a little bit, let them dry and then I'll be right back to finish off the video. Now I went and actually took my heat tool and dried it with the heat tool so I could finish the video but you could actually do a bunch of these, set them aside and let them dry and the next thing I'm going to do is grab our Project Life Corner Rounder Punch and I'm just going to round the edges of two sides of the shimmery white cardstock. So if you place it on the counter or the table and you just place the paper into the corner and just give it a little punch, you get um, some really cute rounded corners. Now I was just going to do two but because I did the wrong side, oops, we're going to now have four rounded corners. So I have now rounded all four corners of my card and the next thing I'm do going to do is take the stamp that says Hooray and it's part of the Celebration Stamp Set called Perfect Pairings and you can earn that for free right now with a $60 order. And I'm just going to stamp that this with Black Archival Ink. And the Black Archival Ink is right here and then in my original card I actually took a Project Life marker and just sort of made a little swirly trail for the butterfly. But I thought with this one we have this beautiful new stamp set called Timeless Texture and I'm going to use this image and see how that'll look for the butterfly. So again I'm using the Black Archival Ink and I just go tap tap tap. You don't need to press really hard on our ink pads. And I'll turn it this way. Oh, see that looks pretty cute. Now we just need a butterfly. So I have already run some Wisteria Wonder cardstock through my Big Shot machine using a framelit from the Bold Butterfly Framelits. And I'm going to show you a trick for getting it out. We sell this new tool and I can't think of the name of it right now. I'll put it on my blog. But it comes with a sponge and it comes with a brush. I'm going to call it a scrubby tool. And I thought I love it but it makes a bit of a mess so I went and got one of my old uh, storage cases. This is for the wood mount blocks. You can buy these um, separately. And I keep it in here and then I'm just taking my Wisteria Wonder cardstock laying it in. 
and then you just rub, rub the brush over the butterfly and all these little bitty bits come out so you don't have to sit and use your paper piercing tool to poke them all out. It gets most of them out and then it also helps release your image as well so that is so much easier than when I used to get my wax paper out, dryer sheet. I really didn't enjoy doing that. Okay so now I have my cute butterfly I have my little tail, my little butterfly trail or tail of the butterfly, I don't know what you call it. And then I need a cardstock base. So I just took some Bermuda Bay cardstock. It's four and a quarter inches by eight and a half inches. And I pre-scored that to make the base. And I'll just turn this around. And because you can see the paper warps a little bit, I'm just gonna grab four Stampin' Dimensionals. Stampin' Dimensionals are one of my favorite products just because they help everything stick together so nicely and they're easy to use and they're very inexpensive you get 300 of these for I believe it's 550 and there you go and then to put the butterfly on I'm gonna fold the wings a little bit because I want it to look like it's flying and I'm gonna grab a glue dot and then I will Place the butterfly against the glue dot. Don't grab the glue dots with your fingers because then it'll just stick and make a big mess. And then the only other thing I need is a rhinestone jewel. So I will grab a rhinestone jewel and if you have a paper piercing tool you can grab it with that or you can use your scissors. I actually find I just use my fingernails. But the scissors do work really well for transferring the jewels over. And that's basically it. That's the card. So this is a really fun water uh, watercolor technique that you should try. I think you would have a lot of fun with it. Happy stamping.